Hey guys, so I am here with a really large empties video. Like it was overflowing, so I'm like, I need to get up in here and get this done here. Um, so I took a shower this morning, and when I was getting out, I was feeling so bad because I drank coffee and I hadn't ate breakfast yet. And I'm like, man, I'm feeling like I was feeling real anxious and like real, um, like I was going to like pass out kind of sort of and I'm like what well, did I take my heart pill and I couldn't remember and so I'm like well I haven't ate so I went in there and ate and I started feeling a little bit better but I'm thinking I'm having a sugar low like I've been strictly eating what I'm supposed to and I think my body's just not adjusted to all of that um I don't know but it's it's a mess so I made myself a shake and these normally help me and I've not like the second week of Nutrisystem which is this week everything's been going fine but the moment I think it's where your your calories are so limited and then like if you go typically at work I'll have something to eat like I have to be in there by six so I'll like I'd have already drank my coffee by six and then by seven eight o'clock I'd have ate my my breakfast and then by 10 or 11, I would have lunch. So I think I've just deprived myself from food. And it's only like 9 or 10 o'clock, which normally, normally when I wasn't eating junk, it would be fine. But now that I don't, my body's not adjusted to it yet. But I was talking to the doctor at work. He said it can take a while because whenever he was doing it, which not not neutral system just cutting off sugars and stuff that it took him a good while like two to three weeks so and even up to a month it just depends on everybody's body um anywho this ain't about weight loss journey or any of that crap this is an empties video so we need to get started up in here so like i said it was like overflowing and i know my hair looks like a hot mess i didn't do i just brushed it and didn't do nothing to it This is just the me, everyday life. Okay, so I'm just going to grab and go. So the first thing that I have is these Argon Oil and Avocado Facial Wipes. They, this is by the Bolero brand. These wipes are so good. Like, every one of them are really good. So, if you haven't, if you haven't tried these from Dollar, Dollar Tree, pick them up. They're great. They're really great. I had to get me a big garbage bag because, you know... The next thing that I have, I just, there's still a little bit in here left. You can see it, but, um, the low, the shower gels are really good. This one's, uh, the lavender and vanilla. It's the body wash and it's the creamy lather, calming and relaxing. Um, it's got lavender oil and natural vanilla in it. So this is by that same brand, Bolero, and this stuff works really good. I have a Soft Whisper by Power Stick. These uh, body washes are really good. This is the Argon and Morella. Mor I don't know. Morella oil. Um, like I said, I like all of these. They work so good. They the bomb. And then I have a Pink Lemonade. This was so good. I got this at Dollar General. And I think it was last year. Or maybe even the year before. I can't remember. But this, guys, literally smells like pink lemonade. And it was really um, moisturizing. Looks like that. This lighting in here kind of sucks, y'all. This chocolate shake is so good. Um... I have a Frosted Sugar Cookie Shampoo and Conditioner. I got these at Big Lots back last year, I think it was. And these are good. It says, indulge with this sweet smelling um, confection with notes of melty whipped vanilla frosting smoothed over a just baked sugar cookie. So, I love those. This um, It kind of had like a hint of a um, spice or something that I could smell. I don't know, but we like them. Um, 
Got a VO5 Island Coconut. This stuff smells really good. These ones, the VO5, don't have that fake smell. Like some of the coconut conditioners and shampoos you get have that smell. And I don't like them. Oatmeal and coconut oil. This is the shampoo and conditioner here. Oh, I've got that chocolate on my mouth. I'm looking rough today, y'all. I've got to get my hair dried. Whew. I do not feel good today. Um, the next thing that I have here is lavender and chamomile. This is the bubble bath, and I like these. The kids like these. I like them. And that's that. These... Um, is this Desange, Desange Paris? I don't know. It's a salon color restore. These smelled really good. These came from Dollar Tree, and I don't even know where you can buy these other than Dollar Tree. I'm sure it's a. It's not a Dollar Tree product, so I don't know. These were really good. I used a Unstoppable fabric. Um, refresher thing. These things smell really good. A Meadow Fresh um, Comet Spray. This reminds me of like the pine scent and I love anything pine. Um, kind of like a fall scent but I get them all year round so there's that. I've got a couple of these. This is the shampoo and conditioner coconut and verbena. And that's by the Bolero brand. These are all good. We're using a um, a watermelon right now. Super good. I didn't realize I had so much crap in here. I got a um, shaving cream, the raspberry. That come from Dollar Tree. I've got a cold and hot pain relief patch. Speaking of these, I thought I had one of these in my bag yesterday, but I had the rub that's like non-menthol smellish. It's just like the regular rub. Because my back, oh my gosh, yesterday, um, I don't, it wasn't like a grabbing pain or like, it was just a very sore pain. And it, like from, of course, where my left side of my back hurts, it, like it wasn't just there, but it was all the way up here, my shoulders all the way down. But I had done a lot of lifting at work, and it triggered it off. So I told my nurse, I'm like, I'm going to have to step out a minute and put some of this crap on my back. It was bad. It's not hurting as bad today, though. But yesterday, it was horrible. Here's another one of those pain relief gel patches. I got a bunch of these wax things. This one's the Fresh Linen by luminescence these are okay these came from dollar tree they're not the best in the world but if you're on a pinch and you need to save money these do work um you have to use them more often but they do work so there's that the vanilla wax um melts by mainstays i love all of these ones by that brand they work really good um luminescence apple plum strawberry and shortcake and again that's these ones have two different ones that you can get from the DT. And then apple pumpkin. These are good. Mainstays. And then a gingerbread that I got from Dollar General like years ago. Guys, this one here. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of medicine. Like, you know that cough syrup that you get when you like cough really bad and the doctors will give it to you? Um... This is the Raspberry Ripple Ice Cream. It reminded me of that so much. I really like, didn't like that scent. And then we have a, this right here. I don't even want to try to pronounce that. Got a couple of lotions from Bath and Body Works. We have Dark Kiss, which is my all-time favorite, and I love it. I do have back, whoops. I do have back backups of this, so if y'all haven't tried it, the notes are black raspberry, burgundy, rose, bergamot, incense, incense, uh, dark vanilla bean, and plum mask. This is the bomb. We have a wild honeysuckle that smells really good. We have the wild honeysuckle spray, which I used up. 
we have a rose fine favorite mints these things are so good this is like my second bottle y'all that i've went through gotta love it and then the sky violent lily the bottle's real pretty we have a hydra mist coconut water face mask face wash i said i about said face mask um it says hydrates replenishes for a brighter you and it is by the Bolero brand right there. So, guys, if I seem like I'm off, it's because I don't feel good. And I, I needed to get this video done because it's piling up. And I figured to just go ahead and do it. So, yeah, I don't feel good. This is the um, mango, pineapple, and basil bergamot. I really like that one. Um, we have a pure silk, pure silk body wash, coconut and oat flour. These worked really good. Loved it. And then a tea tree mint body wash. These have been like in here for a long time. Like it just kept accumulating. Um, another one of the co coconut and rose oil face wash. Is that what was, oh yeah, they were different. These are really good. The only downfall of these that I don't like is they're super runny, like really runny, and it was starting to get on my nerves, so I probably won't buy any more of the squeeze ones like this because by the time you put it on your hand and go to rub it in your face, that crap falls down your hand, so ain't nobody got time for that. And then we have a red honeysuckle nectar air freshener. Smelled really good. We have a pineapple and coconut lime. These things were the best. Love them. And then another body wash. Olay Cooling White Strawberry and Mint. A couple of candles. We have Cactus Blossom and Karma Frankincense and Vanilla. That smelled really good. Got one of these pumpkin spice little glade things you put in the wall. And then, of course, three of the Woodwick um, Joy and Laughter Notes of Lemon and Jasmine. These candles are the best. Like, you go to, go to Dollar Tree, pick them up, and you will love them. I'm telling you. The candles make like this real crackling sound and it's just very relaxing. And the scent's like really light. You can smell it, but I love them. Every time they're there, I'll pick up about five or six of them. And then a leave and ibuprofen. Um, <clears throat> a couple of these hand sanitizers that I went through and they're in my bag. I just didn't bring them in here. Um, I used to didn't like the Dollar Tree um, hand sanitizers, but now... They work good. Like, I think the formula's changed or something. They don't stink like they used to. Like that fake smell. Some good old powder deodorant by Suave. And then Fit Me um, foundation. And then we got, last but not least, this hazelnut cream wax cubes. These things are really good. And then we got the um, Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. I like the wand on this. So anyway, that's my big old bag of empties. And that crap's got to go. I'm going to get off of here because I'm not feeling good. And i got to go do some. I need to go dry my hair. Or do something to it. I just washed it and put it up. Or, or just let it hang because it, it needs to like dry some before I put it back. But anyways, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, actually. It was just at first that real anxious, exhausted, um, 
kind of feel and it feels weird but I know my sugar dropped which is weird if like have y'all ever had that happen to you like when your sugar drops or something it did that to me whenever I was pregnant with my kids and I can remember that feel like this same feel and it's kind of scary it's like you get kind of shaky and sometimes your heart rate your heart will race you just feel exhausted and like just could barely move and go yeah so i'm like oh boy i need to jump up in here and um start drinking my shake y'all but i ate some cereal and i'm still just like my hands were shaky And I'm going to have to start at least like having fruit or something around. <clears throat> but I wasn't hungry. Like, I wasn't hungry when I got up, so I didn't eat nothing. So I don't know what the deal is. Anyways, who cares? Anyways, guys, I hope everybody's doing good. And until next time. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.